guys shared so much beauty and all different types of beauty. Yep. And that um, when you look around, right, there's so much um, wisdom and love. In a sin curse world. Yes. That's death, agony, pain, sorrow, suffering. That can Jesus Christ can give you life. Oh, uh, this is all going to burn up one day, you know. As See, we didn't come in with the Big Bang. It's going to go out with the Big Bang. You want to attract people, though, right? To, to hear. It's not attracting people. The Bible says go in all the world and preach the gospel. And the Bible already tells you many will go the broad way that leads to destruction and the few that will go into life through the straight gate. This is a ministry where Paul, Jesus Christ, they, they went on the side, seaside, they went among the highways, they sat down and preached to all the multitudes of people. Paul went up to Mars Hill, and here's this God statue, the unknown God. And they're worshiping this God however they did. And he walked up to them, he said, listen, this is Jesus Christ. And... The Bible says, go in all the world and preach the gospel. Proverbs chapter 1 says, go in a place of concourse where there's business. Well, not much business here today, but people are going to hear the gospel of a loudmouth preacher. I've been here for over six years now. At the spot? Well, it was over at the parking lot at the ball game. This is only recent. And in six years, people we never met and never going to meet again out of the loud mouth of a preacher, they hear Jesus Christ says. Amen. This is a ministry we reach out to people. He, today, right now, we reach out to people passing by. And God's given this loud mouth preacher where they can hear it. Plain, simple gospel preaching of Jesus Christ, heaven, hell. what we do just a suggestion use definitely use the Bible maybe maybe stick with like the positive stick with just the positive they're possibly gonna go to hell without Jesus Christ okay right my my understanding is Jesus really loves everyone right and he took the time to get to know different people from yes there, right so by taking the time to get I have that ministry I do that too to know you this can, ministry here is where there's people there's a lot of people and we're gonna preach I do have ministries where I go out and I deal one-on-one -on -one. this is just one of many ministries this one is preaching I have a ministry where we sit down, open up the Bible, we study the Bible. There's many ministries within the ministry. This one is, get out there, I'm giving you a loud mouth, use it for Jesus. Thank you. No problem. What's your name? Styley. Styley? Yes. Yeah. Really nice to meet you, Styley. Nice to meet you. You have a good day. For God is not willing that any should perish. That he sent himself, God, Jesus Christ. God sent himself. God did not send another. He sent himself and Jesus is God. And God is Jesus. There's a great heresy among the Jehovah Witnesses that don't know Jesus is God. That's a great error. Because only God can save your soul. So Jesus has to be God. When Thomas told Jesus, my Lord, my God, Jesus did not rebuke him. For God so loved the world, there is the love of God. And he gave 
That's charity. The love of God and the charity of God. Charity is love in action. That God gave His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ. You see, God did not give a church. God did not give a baptism. God did not give a religion. God gave His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ is the love and the charity of God. And Jesus Christ is the only means that you can get to heaven. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son <coughs> that whosoever, that's you, whosoever, whether you are male or female, no matter what your skin color, whether you be in poor or you be rich, whatever your standing is, whoever you are, whatever you are, whosoever, that's you. If you are born of a woman, of the human race of Adam, you are the whosoever. If you never have put in trust and faith in Jesus Christ. That whosoever believeth. Salvation is a belief. Salvation is never a doing. You don't do salvation. You don't do go to church. You don't do go to a baptism. You don't do go good. Whosoever believeth, there is a belief. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Whosoever believeth, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth shall not perish. If you believe upon the Lord Jesus Christ, you will be saved. You will not perish. You've got stuff that are in your refrigerator that are perishable. That when they go beyond their date, you throw them out. And your soul, when you go on to your death date, and you die without Jesus Christ, you are perishable, and you will be thrown out by God into the incinerator called hell. Because you have not believed on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. You tried to go to church. And going to church for salvation, 
get you into hell. There are many people in hell today that went to a church. They did not believe on Jesus. There are people who try to do good. And there are good people in hell today because they did not believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. There are people who try to get baptized and there are people who were baptized that are in hell because they did not believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. You see, the love and charity of God is Jesus Christ you, the whosoever, must believe on the Lord Jesus Christ or you will perish. And there is no perishing when you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus is life. No Jesus, there is no life. He that hath the Son hath everlasting life. He that has not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath hell of God abideth on him. Abide means you will live in the wrath of God. When you do not have the Son, you did not believe on the Son, you will be perishable in hell where you will live without God, without Jesus Christ. When the Bible says to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. That is the way to get to heaven. That is the means of salvation. It is to put your faith in trust and repentance in the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. And without Jesus Christ there's hell. You will go to hell because you have rejected Jesus Christ. And if you do not want to go to hell, you say, preacher, I don't want to go to hell. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. The Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world, he can cleanse you. When God says, come now, let us reason together, though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and and he is faithful to forgive us and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Come to Jesus Christ and be cleansed and be saved and be right with God. Reject Jesus Christ. And be absent from God. And in damnation. And perishable. No, 
No one who has put their faith and trust in Jesus ends up in hell. You will go to hell because you have rejected Jesus Christ as your Savior.